Hello, uh, today we're going to use the controllers on the PlayStation. So we got the, the buttons on the PlayStation. So we're going to start at this point. That's from the compile on PlayStation video. So if you want to see how to create this program and what the stuff in this program actually do, then go and check that program out. So first of all, we need to get this um, hello PlayStation stop scrolling. So there was a line we can comment in there's PSP debug screen clear. And then we need to add in a controller header. So we're going to include a PSP controller. And we just jump down here and we need to initialize the, uh, the controller. Let's see, control set sampling cycle and SCE control set sampling mode PSP control mode analog. Uh, if we do not use the analog, you will not get that one. And in here, it's very easy to read the controllers really. In here we're just going to create a small type. SE controller data controller. That's our controller. Now we just need to read the controller. Controller peak buffer positive address to controller. The struct is going to be filled in, and that's a one in the end for some reason. I have no reason, and I don't know why, it's just it is. So then we have our controller, and we have the left x controller, left y, that's the analog, analog stick. So it's yes, going to copy paste in this and say access. Uh, and it's the value from um, 0 to 255. So we got controller x, controller y. Let's run this. It said something warning implicit declaration function display wait. Okay, I, forgot, I forgot to include something. So now we got access. And if I take my controller and if I move it here then you see that uh, it changes. Now uh, I only have this controller because my Xbox controller don't connect to my computer anymore for some reason. Um, I don't get all, all the values on, on the axis here because this is of, of course not analog. But in the emulator you can go to game settings more settings, controls, on screen touch controls. Click in that, go back, and then you have all the controls. So you can drag it around here and you see that the axis there. We are reading that one, so now let's code in so we read all the other keys also. That's just for easy readability. Do that. Okay. So let's add in uh, more buttons. So we have buttons and it should be PSP controller start. We are interested in the start. We got start. And we got select, select, select. And we of course have up, down, left, and right. And up, there we go. Let's 
see. If you can see this, let me check on the other. Is that possible to see? Yeah, it's possible to see. So now we have those buttons. We have the analog stick. We have the start and the select. We will not mess with the volumes and, and uh, sound buttons. And those we need to add in. And luckily they are named so you can remember them. They are named uh, triangle, square, circle, and cross. So not too hard to remember. Yeah, let's spell it quarter triangle. That seems correct, I think. I got triangle, square. <laughs> circle. There we go. What did I say? Uh, on the cross. So it's cross. Circle, square, and to finish this off, we have the shoulder buttons. So that's left, left trigger, right trigger. Left trigger, right trigger, and of course I spelled wrong on circle. There we go. Let's see if it works. So we have the left trigger. All right, wait, wait, wait. Before we do anything here, we'll do like that. Print out will be nicer. There we go. Okay, let's test this. We got left trigger, right trigger, up, down, left, right. Got the axis, got the select, got the start, square, triangle, circle, and cross. So let's uh, just load this, uh, build it, and load it up uh, on the PlayStation. So uh, uh, last video I created a small build script to build it and I'm editing in main here and I'm compiled main the last time also so we can just use the same build script uh, as before except that we needed to add in a new library control wasn't found so let's add in that uh, where do I have it BSP make and we should have the control library. There we go. There we go. Let's build it. And now let's transfer over this to our PlayStation. Let's see if you see the PlayStation. And just start the PlayStation. So there we go, it started. We go to the left menu, we go to connect. And on Windows it should automatically pop up, and if it does not pop up, then op let's open it. There we go. There we go. PSP, game. Let's write over hello. And we need our other file. So we just drag it over. Replace the one that's on here already. Can, uh, Cancel out here. We can go to memory stick. We can load it up. Let's see if you see see the screen here. Let's 
did not work. Okay, so after a bit of debugging, cause uh, it didn't, where should you show it? It just displayed a blank screen. Uh, there are difference between the real PlayStation and the emulator. Just cause it's running the emulator does not mean it runs on, on the real one. So I needed to replace this PSP debug screen here with PSP debug screen set XY up in the corner. Just move the cursor up in the corner. The debug screen clear. Just clear the screen forever, which is a little bit odd because it should clear it and write out things and then uh, loop around and wait for a virtual blank, uh, blank again. Uh, so it should be present on the screen, but no, it, the screen just got, uh, went dark. And then uh, this one also ha had a compilation error, so. We need to include that. It, it compiled without, it just complained. Uh, so there we go. Com compile that. And here we got our um, emulator again, working fine. We take the PSP. And we go to USB connection again. Just wait until it pops up on, on Windows. Oh, you can't see the PSP. <laughs> Sorry for that. Then we go into PSP, game, and then we drag over our file. There we go. And let's see if we can display. PlayStation. There we go. I have a bit hard time to doing this like this, but I, I don't feel like um, uh, like moving my camera right now. So th this this has to do. It's backwards also, so it's not great. Now you can see that. When I, when I, uh, we got, there we got the analog stick, that one works. And the left and right triggers. Up and down and left and right. Oops. And the uh, buttons. The start. Yeah, so uh, now you can uh, code on, on the PlayStation since you have that video that set up how to code on it. And now you can read all the buttons on it also. So go out and do text adventures, I guess. I will do graphics on this later. So, but first it's Christmas, so it will take a while. So see you and have a good Christmas.